Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today we're reading a book about a little chick right here, and it's called All By Myself, and it's by Geraldine Colette and Coralie Saudo. So this is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. So if you can see, he's swinging on the swing on the front cover, and he's still swinging on the swing in the back cover, but you can see the chick's back. Oh, and we see a yellow in our book right here. <gasps> and here is our title page, all by myself. And here's another title page, all by myself. When Mama left the chicken coop to go pecking for grain, she left me all by myself. There he is right there. Well, not really all by myself because... There were a bunch of my fellow chicks with me. There was Leonard and Lily and Shirley and Ivan. But because I was left all by myself, I cried. Just like Ivan and Lily and Leonard and Shirley. They were all crying. I think they all missed their mommies. Ivan said our mothers would be gone for a long time. At least until lunch, thought Lily. Look, there's the lunch, and this is 12 o'clock. That's lunchtime. What if they don't come home before it gets really dark? And they're imagining that it's really dark, that it's nighttime. Or what if they don't come ever, wailed Shirley. Wow, I think Shirley is really nervous about this. I got scared. I got really scared, just like Shirley and Leonard and Lily and Ivan. They were all so scared. <gasps> they thought their mommies wouldn't come back. What will we do if they don't come back? I asked. We'll go find them. Or we can just wait here until someone comes to help us, said Lily calmly. And Lily feels really calm. She's even laying in a hammock right now. And what if it's a fox who comes? Asked Shirley. So that's Shirley, and she's imagining that it's a fox. Because foxes might eat little baby chicks. Then Leonard began to hear some strange noises. There's Leonard right there, and he's hearing some strange noises. Pow, crack, brush, scratch. <gasps> Uh-oh, is it a fox? Is it a fox? If it's a fox, I'll jump out of in front of it, and I'll scare it away. I'm like, somebody's being brave. They even have a cape on. Oh, no, you won't. You're too small. If it's a fox, we'll all hide under the cupboard. Here it is, under the cupboard. Um, there's not enough room, Leonard replied. So maybe it's not a good idea to scare the fox, and it's also not a good idea to hide because there's not enough room under the cupboard. Oh, they might be really nervous if there's a fox that comes, right? I can't take it anymore, shrieked Shirley. Look at Shirley. He's going to eat us alive. Um, are, is there even a fox? I don't know. I think it's just her imagination that there's a fox. She's just thinking there could be a fox. But they said, Stop it, Shirley. Shirley was freaking out. She was getting so nervous that she was making them all nervous. So here they're holding a sign that says stop. This is a line that says shh. And this is a sign that says enough is enough. Shirley is too nervous. So what are we going to do? I know. Let's play a game. Whoever catches me wins, Ivan shouted. I guess Ivan's going somewhere. Whoever catches me wins. Then, suddenly, the door opened. Who is it? It's all the chickens, all the mommies. We're home, we're home. Come, little chickens. Who wants a nice grain? <gasps> Our mothers came back. Hooray! They were super happy about that. Because they were so nervous that their moms were away. Oh, but then all the mothers had something to say about how their kids were eating. 
Ivan, eat slowly, because Ivan's eating too fast, huh? Slurp, glurp. Lily, you're nibbling nicely. Leonard, put your bib back on. Yes, Leonard took off the bib. Shirley, chew carefully. I guess uh, Shirley was gobbling it down too quickly. But what are they going to say about the main character? Anthony, do you want some help? What did Anthony do? He took the grain and he poured it on top of his head. And all the grain went all over his head and onto the ground. That's a kind of silly way to eat, I think. No, said Anthony. I want to be just like Ivan and Lily and Leonard and Shirley. I want to eat all by myself. Slurp, 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 yum. And he ate all by himself. And that is the end of the story, all by myself. So even though they were really worried in the beginning of the book, and they thought their mothers wouldn't even come back until nighttime, or that they would never come back, or that they would even have a fox come and get them, it turns out that their mommies came back, and they brought them food. And they were able to withstand it because they believed, oh, they're going to come back. And they did. And that is the end of the story all by myself. Thanks, friends, and I'll see you next time.